So now that we've taken a look at designing a class, I've gone ahead and taken that same concept and I've started to flesh it out a little bit. And just like I we had looked at, you see I have some class variables. Now these are just declared. I don't know what these are just yet. They just kind of <clears throat> exist. But then I get into this new kind of term, uh, a no arg constructor. And notice sort of what I've got going on here is I've got the class name again with parentheses and nothing inside there, no parameters, no arguments. So I could implement this now. I could actually instantiate a student by doing something like student s1 equal new student. And because there are no parameters inside, that's perfectly fine. That's where, if you notice, first name will just get my name and last name will get my last name. <clears throat> but then we have uh, an argument constructor, something uh, that has parameters. Again, just like we saw with methods, I'm able to override uh, this constructor. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm able to override constructors, and so instead of s1 equaling new student with nothing, I can do s1 equaling new student, uh, and I'll just even change it uh, so uh, Randy. Savage. I'm able to do that, and what will happen is uh, F name will be replaced with Randy, and L name will be replaced with Savage. And again, those will in turn be assigned to the first name and the last name. Now, I can continue to go on with this, but one thing I want you to notice is there is no main method. Oh my goodness. Well, one thing to kind of take note of is I want to go ahead and say, let's actually compile this. Now, before I do that, I want you to at least see something. Here's where that student file is. Here's where it's residing. As soon as I compile this, what gets created is that dot class file. Notice that guy right there. And inside there, that's just the machine's implementation of my my object, my source code. This is what gets talked to uh, to the Java machine, well, the machine language, uh, machine code. And you notice it still it didn't freak out. If I try and run the program, however, I do get an error. I get a main method not found in student because there is no main method. But what I can do now that I've developed this class. Now that I've developed this object that I can work in tandem with, I can actually create files that utilize it. And as long as they're in the same area, as long as you know test student is in the same folder, test student is in the same folder as this class file, <clears throat> what I'm able to do is public static void main string args student s1 equals new student and what this is going to do if I compile this up test student you see I didn't get an error now it doesn't do anything fancy right now it just kinda mm -hmm. it just sits and does nothing but what I can do is now I have access to print s1 dot first name the variable the variable of my student class that thing I now have access to that there we go so I compile up test student and now I run it notice how I print out Adam now, one thing that we see so far is that I have my variables and my constructors, but I don't have any methods. I don't have any behaviors. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself something known as a class method called string get name. And all this is going to do is now when I call get name, I'm going to return first name plus name 
and then over in test student, instead of using just first name, having access to this variable, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually say get name with the parentheses. Now remember I have to do those parentheses because this is a method. It's expecting parameters. It's expecting zero parameters, but I have to do that. Otherwise, it thinks I'm talking about a variable. And so when I compile this up now, you see I get Adam Goita. Now again, that's using the no arg constructor. I have a second constructor that expects two strings, Randy Savage, or first F name, L name. Now if I include Randy Savage into this, compile and run it, notice how I, I get that. Now what happens if I delete my student file? Completely, it's gone now. It's empty. I know it still kind of exists right here. No, get rid of it. Now it's gone. What happens if I try and run student? It freaks out. There's no class. What happens if I try and compile it? It freaks out. There's no student anymore. I. This is where objects start to come into play. Is because suddenly I had I had this this object this this thing this concept and I had materialized it into a living I, I don't want to say living or breathing but uh, a a, uh, a factual object uh, that I could use in tandem with my other programs by not having it I now don't know what a student is and my code as you can see crashes